Genetics has historically been a powerful tool for understanding biology. It has given us many, many insights into how living things work. Uh, my name is Joshua Raji from Nigeria, and I came to the United States to study the world's deadliest animal. I am the uh, leader of the Laboratory of Tropical Genetics at, at Florida International University. My name is John Castillo. I'm a PhD student at the Florida International University, originally from the Dominican Republic. Hello, my name is Marcus. And I am Nadia. We're from Lund University, Sweden. The mosquito is something that annoys many of us in the world, but in certain parts of the world, the mosquito is deadly. Aedes aegypti is a major vector for chikungunya, dengue, and Zika. Those are all diseases that are still very prevalent in my country of the Dominican Republic. An animal that has given us such hell all these through this millennia, why don't we really understand how they find us? By understanding what are these receptors that are responsible for sensing humans, we can then get, get further knowledge that could prevent these diseases from happening. We wanted to understand why the orco mutants could still find hosts. So I wanted to figure out what other genes were involved in this process. And the inotropic receptors were a key candidate. So we decided to target IR8A because it's the only co-receptor that's localized to the antenna and you can't find it in any other chemosensory tissue. CRISPR-Cas9 is a genome editing tool that we use in the lab that uses a guide RNA uh, bound to an endonuclease and makes a double-stranded cut anywhere in the genome. Using CRISPR-Cas9, we made a double-stranded cut in exon 2 of IR8A and introduced a DS red fluorescent protein. This creates a loss of function mutation because uh, the exon 2 is a valuable part of the coding region of IR8A. Here we can see that the DS red was inserted into the gene and we can tell by the red fluorescence compared to the wild type. So we also did the same thing in exon 3 but we introduced an AP site. The AP site uh, is a recombination site that we can use later on to integrate other transgenes for further application. In this olfactometer assay, we allow our subjects to put their hand in one of the box and then hair and CO2 we blow over the harm and then blow the cues down the olfactometer chamber and then from the other end we release the mosquitoes so the mosquitoes are able to fly upwind and a normal wild type mosquito can smell human odor and they can track it down to where the source is but our mutants have trouble finding this human odor. We have examined the antennal responses of the IR8A mutants. To do this, we have used an old technique. It's called electroantennogram recordings, and it dates back all the way to 1957, when it was invented by a guy called Dietrich Schneider. Mm -hmm. Dietrich, he worked at the Max Planck Institute for Biology in Tübingen. And what he figured out is that you can measure the sound activity of all olfactory sensory neurons on the antenna by inserting a recording electrode at the tip of the antenna and a reference electrode into the eye. Mm -hmm. So we found that wild type mosquitoes have a strong antenna response to carboxylic acids. However, when we tested IR8A mutants, this response was abolished. So this suggests that IR8A is actually necessary for detecting carboxylic acids which are an important component of human body odor. IR8A requires CO2 to be activated. However, CO2 is not sufficient to rescue IR8A phenotype. The genetics is saying that the loss of IR8A cannot be compensated by other olfactory receptors like we've seen in HOCO. This put a spotlight on acidic volatiles such as lactic acids. Lactic acid has been shown to be an important volatile for mosquitoes to find human. Studies have shown that lactic acid is more abundant on human sweat compared to non-human animals. So since IR8A is a co-receptor, we know that the detection of lactic acid is based on the IR8A pathway's function. So going further, we would like to uncover the odor-specific component of this reception to lactic acid. 
because higher rate A is a very important molecular target for mosquitoes to find humans, we could screen for odors that would activate this gene and use it to lure mosquitoes into trap or screen for odors that could inhibit this, the function of the gene and use it to ward off mosquitoes from humans. I feel motivated to do a research that can contribute to improve the health status of the people in Nigeria. We need to work together across borders to solve the international problem of mosquito-borne illness. A luta contra os mosquitos é de todos nós. Det han som tror sig vara för liten för att göra skillnad har aldrig haft en mygga i sitt sovrum. I'm involved in this study because the mosquitoes bully and they don't come to me. In my country, we say, "Si e pumban po kaja, kopa si oba pawo mwapai." 